Let's talk about website traffic. Let me tell you a story first. When we are talking with our friends from Gardner or Forrester, we usually mention the different types of marketers that we have right now, digital marketers, right? The first type of marketers, like more than 80%, are the ones that are usually copying, replicate the strategies from other companies. So basically, they are trying to follow the leader, right? The second type of digital marketers are the ones who are basically using only ads, advertisement. They are increasing their ads budget because that's a technique that is working good. I'm going to be showing some numbers about that as well. And the third type of marketers are the ones who are using the mighty of data. So they are data lovers and they are user data in their daily um, base work. One of the things that I have learned from this is when you are using data, some of the words that usually are really, really weird in the digital marketing environment are away from your vocabulary, which are, I think, I believe, right? So those words are not here anymore. And one of the interesting parts about digital marketing is the state of the web traffic. We gather, thanks to our data scientist team that, that we have in-house, we gather the information about what is happening on every single industry across the globe for the 100,000 top uh, websites. So if we want to define web traffic, what is it, right? What is uh, web traffic? Basically, it's the data that we send and receive from a website, right? In this case, let's take a look at what was happening during the last year. And yes, basically, we took uh, 2021 versus 2022, and you can see that it has been a little spike. Well, actually, it was incredible. It was an enormous spike of 25% year over year. That means that the interest of the companies building content is on the top. 25% increase year over year is about 50 billion new URLs every single year. That's massive, right? So in this case, we see that there are some effects in the post-pandemic era about what is happening in the digital marketing environment. Here we have the example of 100 top uh, websites, 100,000 websites all over the world. If we want to go a little bit deeper, we will understand, okay, what are the industries that are more, um, which, which are the winners and the losers? Let's take a look at this. So we divided all these 100,000 uh, websites in different categories, and we can see definitely who are the winners, right? The winners are overall the travel and leisure industry. Uh, this is kind of, uh, this is somehow a revenge, right? A, a revenge. We want to travel more. We want to see more people face to face. And that's the trend right now. The travel industry, the hospitality industry, the food and beverage industry is on the top. 20% 20, 20 grow, growth year over year. And the losers, uh, this is what's logical, are the online educations as re schools are reopened, right? Why is that? Well, basically, we are not so um, happy having Zoom meetings all the time. We're tired, frustrated about having just a face. We want to have more uh, connections with people. But are also some interesting trends that you can see here. For example, logistics, uh, financial services, uh, food and restaurants, and of course, travels are the winners. Those are the industries that right now are the winners for tra uh, traffic acquisition. Um, basically, the main losers, uh, the ones that are losing a lot of traffic are uh, also represented by as just few uh, percentages of growth, like for example, fashion, uh, or for example, we can see as well, uh, retail is just a little bit of growth or publishing and online media as well. And what is the situation that is coming around? So basically the last, I will say five, seven years in most of the digital marketing conferences all over the world, speakers and professionals were uh, saying that we are about to live in a, in a mobile world, right? So the mobile era is here. Um, it's here or not? We are 100% mobile now. 
Well, basically, that's not the situation. Something happened that stopped the growth of mobile usage all over the world. And that thing is, of course, COVID, right? Two years, all the people were using uh, their uh, desktop devices, uh, and they were stopped to use all the time mobile devices. And that's a trend. Right now, the battle of the traffic acquisition is between mobile devices and desktop devices, right? And let's take a look a little bit about the geolocation, where the traffic is going from uh, country to country in different regions. So in this case, just for an instance, this is the global trend of mobile traffic uh, trend since uh, comparing uh, 2021 versus 2022. And you can see, okay, it was a huge spike during the pandemic, of course, and it was a downgrade at the start of this year, um, but the situation is kind of coming to, uh, no, uh, to, to be normalized. If we go country by country, you will be impressed about the details, the results of our research. Some of the countries that we were not thinking are more than 90% mobile. You want to see who's at the bottom of the list? So take a look at this. We have just some a few countries that are in our list and mentioned at the top who are already 93% of mobile, using mobile uh, devices, are Brazil, Japan, India, Spain, Mexico, and so on. And at the bottom of the list is the US. So most of the people here in the US are kind of used to use, to use more desktop devices than mobile devices. What is the strategy here? As digital marketers, we need to follow patterns. We need to see, okay, what is the situation? Where do I need to direct my strategies? What do I need to do? So here is pretty obvious, right? We are not, we are not mobile yet here. Basically, all our efforts needs to be uh, in a two type of uh, strategy, mobile and for desktop. But for other countries, the situation is real different. It's kind of 93% mobile, 87% mobile, and this trend is going to be changing, of course, every single year. But for all of the countries, it's more than 50% already. So we are definitely, we can say that, in a mobile area situation right, right now. What about the sources of traffic? So if we dissect the traffic, we need to understand, OK, where do I need to, uh, to invest more my ideas, my creativity uh, to get more uh, to get the attention of the people more. For an instance, you can see already here, this is a beautiful graphic that is telling you something really clear and really loud. What is that? Basically, we have here direct traffic for every single country is the most important one. So when we are acquiring traffic, when we are gathering traffic from uh, our users, we have direct traffic, paid traffic, referral from uh, different resources or uh, publishers as well. Then you have search traffic, social traffic. If we divide all the traffic by sources, you can see that in all the countries, the pattern is the same, the trend is the same. Direct traffic is the number one. So if you, I don't know, are planning to launch a social media campaign, an advertisement campaign, be aware that the first, uh, campaign that you, you need to launch is it needs to be related to direct traffic. That is the global trend. The second most important source of traffic is the organic traffic, the green one here. So organic traffic, SEO efforts are the second biggest uh, chunk of traffic uh, here. In the third place, we can see referral traffic, which is coming from affiliates, uh, corporations with uh, different partners, but mostly from uh, affiliates. Then you can see we have, can you see the paid traffic? Well, it's there. Here, because we have global numbers, seems like it's not that big, but it's there. There are millions and millions of dollars invested in paid uh, traffic, but their impact with the overall traffic is not that big, right? Overall, we're going to be seeing some numbers after, after this. Then the social media traffic is also there growing more in some countries than, than others, for just for instance in the US, is basically also there. 
So if you are creating a digital strategy, social media traffic needs to be there. It's everywhere. Basically, uh, keeping your users engaged is a really great strategy as well. But you don't need to forget about the rest of the sources of traffic, which, is, which are direct, basically direct traffic, uh, branding, brand, crea uh, brand creation, all the strategies that are related to exposure more, to have your online visibility at the top. Um, just wrapping up this uh, first part. So basically, uh, when we are working with um, our strategies, uh, digital strategies, we need to be aware that mobile users are basically using direct traffic as the main source for uh, entering to your website. Then we can see that, well, search, SEO is the second largest strategy for acquiring uh, users. It needs to be used in that as well. Referral links are a really good way to acquire referral traffic. And social media, okay, is, uh, is the least amount of traffic that you can get uh, apart from paid traffic, but it's still, it's a good strategy. So remember those five uh, sources of tra traffic. Direct traffic, when somebody is entering a bookmark or you receive an SMS, SMS are working really uh, good as well, or you're a brand, right? Your brand awareness is there. Then uh, search traffic, SEO, your keywords, all your strategy with content marketing uh, needs to be in a, good, in a good shape. Then referral traffic, when you have links, uh, when you have affiliates, when you're, you have uh, PR, for example, exposure, that's also very good, and social uh, traffic, which is also great. So these five strategies, including paid, I have a different portion of information about paid, that we're gonna be dissecting as well, are the five main sources of traffic. Okay, so let's go next. Let's see about some mobile uh, traffic patterns for different industries. I'm not gonna be following all the industries because they are a lot, but some of the, uh, some of the mo most interesting. So here, when we are looking graphics like this one, right? The thing that is the most interesting for a digital marketing is the trend and the trends and the patterns. First of all, we can see, okay. First of all, we can see here some of the industries that we pick up, for example, retail, education, finance, healthcare, food and beverage. By far, retail is having the most visibility in terms of uh, mobile traffic, right? Then we can see education, finance, healthcare, and you can see that starting from March 2022, the growth is there. So those are the industries that are moving really, really fast in global terms of traffic acquisition. So the traffic is there. If we go industry by industry, for example, you already comparing mobile versus desktop, we need to identify, okay, what are the trends among, across these uh, specific industries, right? We saw the global uh, image about those, these uh, industries. Right now, let's take a look, for example, education industry. These are the mobile versus desktop. You can see that the trend uh, that is the line, uh, the blue line, is going up. It's an uptrend for the mobile usage in the education industry. The desktop usage is like 43%. So it's like mostly 50 50 for uh, the education industry using both, both devices. Let's take a look about next industry. So, finance industry. Things are a little bit different here. Most of the people, more of the users or the sessions that are um, open to uh, the finance industry are basically more, mostly mobile, right? And the trend for mobile devices is going up. Patterns again, we're following patterns. We saw the online education, finance. Let's take a look about healthcare. What has happened with healthcare? Pretty much the same with a slight difference uh, with the usage, right? 74% with the healthcare, applica or healthcare applications, mobile applications, and just 25% are desktop. So we are separating by more than uh, 30%, more than 40% in some cases, the traffic, the mobile traffic and the desktop traffic. Let's take a look at the food and beverage. Here you can see the difference, right? The difference is huge. Already it's 80% mobile traffic and just 20%, almost 20% of desktop traffic. 
So the interest of the people that you are uh, willing to attract to your website needs to be well studied. Your strategy needs to start here. When you're starting a digital marketing campaign, you need to understand, okay, where your users are, what are the devices that they are using, and what is the strategy that you need to follow more? Let's go to, with the final one. This is the retailing, retail industry, which is pretty much as the online education industry, the uh, difference between mobile and desktop traffic are there. 75% for mobile, 25% for desktop traffic. But the trend is an uptrend for mobile. So more and more users in the retail sector are gonna be using mobile every single uh, day. So, are these some interesting numbers? There are a lot of numbers, right? But we are going uh, from the bigger picture to the smallest one. We're gonna be dissecting the content as well and the top um, industries by uh, the amount of um, budget that they have for uh, traffic acquisition. Okay, so how this industry are generating this uh, mobile traffic, how they can attract more people using uh, this is strategies for mobile acquisition. So basically, again, we're getting to the five sources, main sources of uh, traffic acquisition, which are direct, paid, referral, search, and social. Here, the things are a little bit different. We can see that, for example, for the educational um, industry, you can see that, okay, 60% of the whole traffic is, uh, is, is, there, is direct traffic, then just a small portion is paid, then referral, then search, and then it's a lot of social. So the biggest part of the educational um, traffic overall is still direct. The situation is very different for the food and the healthcare uh, industries. The, the important, um, the, the important uh, sources of traffic for these industries are organic. So SEO is even better than just direct traffic which is really impressive at this point. Then you can see that retail, they're doing a lot of direct, a lot of uh, organic traffic, but they're also doing a lot on paid, um, paid advertisement. You can see there, there are a huge um, amount of referral traffic as well for each industry, but the patterns and the trends are this uh, for uh, April 2021 and April 2022. What is the situation here? So basically, following the trends for each industry, uh, when you are creating a market research uh, report, you need to be um, aware about, okay, what are the sources of traffic and what is happening inside my industry, right? Overall, the, we saw in the bigger picture that direct traffic is everywhere, but inside of each industry, it's not the same situation, right? We see that in food and beverage and healthcare, uh, organic traffic is the most recommendable one. Okay, let's see some key insights about uh, pay channels, mobile, mobile traffic, right? In this point, in, in this term, let's analyze the amount of budget that a company in a specific industry needs to apply for a month. This is some, in a monthly base. So let's take a look at the numbers. So if you can see the numbers, of course, here we have the education industry. We see here the average uh, budget per month per uh, the 100K uh, players all over the world. So for advertising and being the leader on the educational uh, market, the amount of budget that you need is uh, $46,000 per month in ads, okay? So that's not a lot for finance. It's a lot more, it's $11 million per month that you need to use for the food and beverage uh, industry, six and a half million dollars per month. For healthcare, it's around $1 million per month. For retail, so retail, they are expending a lot of money, it's $21 million per month in advertisement, right? So this is the average price, and here you have some of the uh, receptors of this, of this budget. Uh, so YouTube basically is everywhere. Everybody's watching the videos and everybody's expanding on YouTube, which is a great channel for uh, advertisement. What is happening, for example, with the educational sector? Here is around the budget, uh, $260,000 per month. Then you can see 
For the finance sector, it's one uh, million uh, two hundred thousand dollars per month. Food and beverage, about around one million dollar per month. Healthcare, around one million dollar per month. For retail, again, this is for display ad advertisement, right? Uh, so here we have the banners, the uh, YouTube in, in videos. Here for the retail, they're spending even more on display advertising. It's around $54 million per month. That, that doesn't mean that you need to invest such amount of money. That means that that's the amount of money that the leaders of the market are investing to be the number one, right? So here again, we have the um, receptors of these budgets. And again, when we are seeing uh, video, uh, <clears throat> the video uh, budgets, uh, for example, this is uh, quarter over quarter video ad spending versus impressions, we can see, okay, during the last uh, quarter, actually it was Q3 of 2021, it was a downtrend on the ad expenditure on, on video. Uh, the exposure of the videos that were launched in video ads campaigns were less. You can see the numbers here going from $41 million to $26,000 million around, uh, this is like minus 40% in growth a quarter over quarter. Then you can see that, okay, recovering in Q4 last year and Q1 this year, the amount of uh, budget uh, that was spent on advertisement uh, was regular, it was not normal. So companies were not investing that much on advertisement. And that's a single fact that we can see here, the amount of budget that was invested during the pandemic was huge. Basically, most of the people were at home, most of the people were consuming content. Uh, from the uh, Q3 to Q1, the amount has not reached the top that we had during the pandemic. Let's start with the part two. So when we're talking about traffic, we need to be sure that we are following all the trends that are over there. And here we need to check a little bit about the mobile app uh, landscape. So we need to go to the Apple store, we need to go to the Play store. And um, most of the people, I already saw your hands uh, up uh, during the presentation yesterday, most of the, of the people are using uh, mobile um, iOS devices, right? So here, the thing is the next. We are in a mobile device world, right? Most of the industries are uh, ruled by mobile devices. So one of the big things of mobile devices are apps. We need to be there too. And companies are struggling to get their strategy. Okay, we built our web page. Do we need to have an app, right? How can we reach to more people advertising on apps, right? What is the best way to do that? Or what are the top apps over there to uh, have our banners to reach to more people? Let's check that here with the help of uh, analytics. So let's evaluate the specifics for different industry through mobile traffic patterns on apps. Just for an instance, let me check uh, the year over year download trends from uh, the iOS um, apps from the Apple store. Here you can see that, okay, the winner by far on this, uh, on the Apple store are games. You can see here uh, the downside trend that they have. So people are less willing to use uh, games or to download apps, apps in, um, in the Apple store. Then you can see shopping here, social networking over here, finance over here, and health and fitness over here in global trends, right? That, that is the situation right now in the Apple store. What is happening in the Android, Android store? Basically, the situation is similar, but not so dramatic as the Apple store. So people are still downloading games. So um, actually a few uh, months ago, Android, uh, Google launched their Play, like a Game Pass for uh, mobile Android devices. So uh, people are downloading games a lot. The situation is pretty much similar, but it's growing for the shopping apps in the Android store. store and it's pretty much the same with the finance, food, uh, health, and fitness industries. So we have two stores, Apple and Android. 
what is happening inside of those stores? What are the most downloaded apps? And through the conference that we are uh, attending uh, these two days, we have heard about a lot of applications, a lot of uh, instruments, but let's take a look on the most popular ones on each store. Why, you can, you can ask. So basically, these are the apps that if you are creating a digital marketing campaign, you need to be looking at the uh, users that you can find out there. Let's start with the game industry, right? The games category uh, for the iOS versus Android. You can see uh, there are the names. So basically, I was also uh, listening to the presentations from yesterday and, and, and today. Um, the metaverse is here. So Roblox is also here. Then you can see the rest of the games. So Warder, Hard Challenge, and so on. It's kind of similar, but in some cases they are, uh, for example, here, Paperfall. So these are the most uh, popular apps in uh, the gaming industry. Uh, from uh, 2020 to 2021. Let's take a look what's happening in the finance industry. You can see here some similarities as well, except for this one from, from China. Uh, I don't remember, but it's for uh, send money as well. And in the Android store, we have uh, somehow the similar situation, PayPal, Cash App, uh, Google Pay, Crypto.com, and so on. Then if we go to the health and finance uh, fitness category, you can see there, cough pass, cough pass. How many of you were using cough pass? So basically, last year maybe, right? But here we have also, for example, Calm. There you can see six packs in 30 days, also in Android. How many of you were using that? Okay. So, this is the health and fitness category. What is happening, for example, with uh, the traffic that we are receiving, for example, in a search ads campaign. So if we are investing our money in different uh, categories in the apps environment, how many app intels, installs come from the Apple, for example, uh, Apple search ads campaign. Here you can see the games industry is massive for the Apple search. So if you want to attract people, users, um, you need to direct the attention of your uh, CMO uh, for the gaming industry. So people who are playing, they are downloading other apps as well, which are a lot of uh, competition also over there. You can see the shopping, the social networking, but we have something interesting growing, which is the food and drink. So in the food and drink industry, also the trend is going up by far. This is really, really cool in terms of competing with the gaming industry. So dollars spent into the Apple search ads are going really, really, really well for the gaming and for the food industry. You can see here a little bit of downtrend in the health and fitness, then in social network as well, and the finance is very steady. Overall, with all this information, uh, you can, we can compare with the Android uh, situation, which is also very good, but not so good as in the, uh, in the Apple Store. So investing in the Apple Store is going really, really well for the gaming industry, for the Android, Android industry, as you can see here. Oh, sorry for that. In the Android industry, you can see that shopping is going really, really well. Not so good for the good, uh, for the food and drink. Right, you can see the food and drink are in the last uh, position here as a difference from the Apple store, which was growing really, really well. And for the shopping industry, it's the second largest part, but still by far, if you want to uh, attract people's attention on the Android store, the Play Store, uh, by far, games are the way to go. Okay, overall, what about the price uh, per acquisition, the cost per acquisition, right? Um, the cost per, per action in this case, we can see here, for the finance uh, sector in 2019, 2020, so pre-COVID, was around $2 to uh, 75 cents. Then, uh, two years ago, $3. This year is crazy expensive. It's like 3x, 4x times more, just one click, right? Then you can see here, food and drink, so from $1, 
then COVID situation, then $2 at the beginning of this year. For each industry, the price for advertisement has grown a lot. Um, many experts can uh, attach this to the situation from the metaverse investment that uh, Facebook uh, has at the beginning of this, uh, this year or about the situation, the, the global crisis, but the facts are the facts. Right now, uh, paying for, a, for an advertisement com campaign is three or four times more expensive than uh, that uh, three, year, three years ago. And the trend is going up. So it is, good. It's, it is a good time for is expanding on uh, advertising campaign. It is, and it's gonna be more expensive uh, the years of, for the years to come. So extracting all this information, we can see that the top uh, key takeaways uh, for all these graphics that I was uh, preparing for you. Uh, first one, we can see that, okay, mobile traffic is here to stay. Most of the users are uh, using their mobile devices for basically everything in any in industry from finance to uh, gaming or for shopping, for shopping is even, it's even more. Then we can see that well, basically, when we are uh, thinking about user behavior, we need to check that uh, we, are, we cannot relate more to the pandemics. So we are uh, out of that situation. It's pretty much normalized everywhere in the world. The mobile traffic is coming up really, really, uh, really, really fast. So the cross-device strategy is the way to go. You don't need to think only about mobile, but desktop as well. Um, that's the situation from, for, for the U.S., as you saw uh, with the data we gather. Then you can see that, okay, the way to go is also invest in brand awareness, which is the top source, the number one for traffic acquisition. Direct traffic, brand awareness, building trust among your users is the uh, way to go. And the last one, well, you need to take a look on your mobile traffic data. If you have access to your Google Analytics and you only are seeing traffic from your desktop devices, well, it's not the way to go. You need to check constantly what is happening, what is happening in, the mobile, um, in the mobile sector, uh, not only with the sources that I was showing you, but also with the apps. Because if we are working with uh, mobile traffic, we need to be aware about the app industry as well. Basically, that was the uh, the battle of traffic acquisition. Um, this is me. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me in my LinkedIn or in my Twitter. Thank you very much.